definitely. It's so valuable for him, bro. Um, yeah, that's true. That's it. Does it say it's recording? I thought it could. It's recording. Okay. Where are we All at right. today? Uh, we're doing the building blocks. All right. So oh, you were doing the overview first, huh? Yeah. We're just going to read through. I mean, the overview is real short. I'm just going to read through, like, what it's going to cover and – um. I'll read the overview. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm reading on your screen. Uh, JavaScript, build, uh, JavaScript building blocks. In this uh, module, uh, we continue our coverage of all JavaScript's key fundamental features, turning our attention to commonly encountered types of code blocks, such as conditional statements, loops, functions, and events. You've seen this stuff already in the course, but only in passing. Here, we'll discuss it all explicitly. Uh, prerequisites. Before starting this module, you should have some familiarity uh, with the basics of HTML and CSS. You should also, uh, and you should have also worked through our previous module, JavaScript's, uh, JavaScript First Steps. Uh, side note, if you're working on a computer, tablet, or other device, uh, where you don't have the ability to create your own files, you should try out most of those, uh, excuse me, most of the code examples in an online coding uh, program such as JSBin or Thimble. Uh, guides, making decisions in your code, uh, conditionals, I'll scroll down a little bit. Uh, in your code in your code conditionals so making decisions in your code conditionals in any programming language code needs to make decisions and carry out actions accordingly depending on different inputs for example in a game if the player's number of lives is zero then it's game over in a weather app if it is being looked at in the morning show a sunrise graphic, show stars and the moon if it is nighttime, and this article will explore how conditional structures work in JavaScript. Looping code. Sometimes you need a task done more than once in a row. For example, looking through a list of names and programming loops perform this job very well. Here we'll look at loop structures in JavaScript. That's nice. Functions. Reusable blocks of code. Another essential concept in coding is functions. Functions allow you to store a piece of code that does a single task inside a defined block. And then call that code whenever you need it using a single short command, rather than having to type out the same code multiple times. And this article will explore fundamental concepts behind functions such as basic syntax how to invoke and define functions, scope, and parameters. Um, build your own function. With most of the essential theory dealt with previously, this article proves uh, a practical experience. Here, you'll get some practice with building up your own custom function. Along the way, we'll also explain some further useful details of dealing with functions. Function return values. The last essential concept you must know about a function is return values. Some functions don't return a specific value after completion, but others do. It's important to understand their values, uh, what their values are, how to make use of them in your code, and how to make your own custom functions return useful values. Uh, introduction to events. Events are actions or occurrences that happen in, your, in the system you are programming, which the system tells you about so you can respond to them in some way if desired. For example, if the user clicks a button on a web page, uh, you might want to respond to that action by displaying an information box. In this final article, we will discuss some important concepts surrounding events and look at how they work in browsers. Uh, assessments. The following assessment will test your understanding of the JavaScript basics covered in the guides above, uh, image gallery. Now that 
who looked at the fundamental building blocks of JavaScript will test your knowledge of loops, functions, conditionals, and event events by building a fairly common uh, item you see uh, a lot on websites, a JavaScript-powered image gallery. All right. All right. And then this right here, that, yeah, that's where, this is where you would like stop the video and then restart the video. You know what I'm saying? Like what, not like where you press the stop and record, and then you press, uh, you, you press uh, record again. Why? Because what that would do is that would make it an individual video. Oh, well, I, I mean, when I uploaded the last one, it was just a whole video. It was like four yeah, hours. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to cut that up. But okay. uh, th th what that'll do is that'll prevent it so that you don't have to cut it up. Oh, I didn't know you were cutting these things up. Oh, yeah, uh, some of them. Like these ones right here, like the MDN docs, I'm cutting just because like they're different articles. Okay. Uh, like everything else, usually I, I don't cut up. All right. Well, let me stop.